so hubby tells me apparently this is called the white witch tree which apparently looks pretty darn white in the sunlight let me get a little closer but i'll let him tell the story legend has it that this tree was Can't actually see. a white witch who was chased by her coven and as a result she got caught at dusk out in the open at which point once the sun went down she got stuck in this fashion rumor has it once the sun is gone it she comes back to exact her revenge you can see her eye and her mouth and her tongue sticking out of it oh okay I'm using them. i see what you're talking about uh, sorry it's shaky it's hard to zoom all right so he's saying that you look at a side view of her there's her eye where's the mouth oh mouth cut out the mouth is that little cut out where's my hand there it is. <laughs> my fingers the white witch ate her hand <laughs> i gotta zoom out that's horrible my hand is so huge all right there's an eyeball it's that thing right there and that's a profile shot folks there's a nose there's her mouth underneath with all that nastiness in the witch mouth and the tongue sticking out she looks like she ah! <laughs>lost the trail we were going the wrong way itching mosquitoes got me um pothos plants those are ordinary little house plants that you see everywhere variegated or regular uh let's see if i can find some good leaves they look kind of like this you can find them at any garden center or any walmart you see them everywhere they're usually in hanging little baskets cheap five to ten bucks depending on the size if you notice somehow they have been planted at the base of these oak trees and if you look you can do this in your yard i've done it myself as you allow them to grow on the ground and they get taller they will truly become huge those leaves up there are like the size of elephant palms almost so they've just kind of vined their way around the oak trees and turned into these massive leaves that uh they're pretty cool so easy to do folks just uh get you a little pothos plant walmart Hey man, it's getting kind of cold out here, dude. Maybe we should start like a fire or something, you know, like to warm up. Yeah. Ooh, that tree, or, yeah, that looks like a good spot right there. Let me get that. <laughs> oh. Oh, sh shit. I think it's out of hand, dude. He was going off into the distance here in the woods, and I was trying to figure out why. And apparently we've already made it to the burnt, unfortunately. I think it's a giant cypress. Honestly, I'm not sure. Sorry, close up. Uh, it's kind of off the trail here, so we're having to go deep. Oy! Anyway, here it is. And you can see Hubby next to it and see his size compared to this thing. So just imagine how big this tree was. This is the base of the trunk, obviously. Just imagine how big the top of that thing must have been when it was all the way up there where these other ones were. So it is highly unfortunate that they decided to damn near burn the whole freaking place down trying to make some kind of a fire. Maybe they were cold, I don't know. Maybe they were trying to eat, but you can see straight through now there's a walkway through this sucker. And here's my hand. No comparison at all. That sucker is so wide. Hubby's over there doing some wood knocking, trying to attract some Sasquatch. Uh, you can see it's ate up, poor thing. I'll show you really quickly. Termites! This is what they do to your house in Florida if you have a frame house and don't keep your perm termite protection up. You can see how they have ate that tree up, so it's struggling. But uh, yeah, termites. I don't think there's any live ones in here. Might be. Let's see easy enough to break it off. Uh, termites, for the most part, look like ants. There's no snakes in here. Yeah, don't put your mouth in there. Uh, can't really see any active ones running. They're probably deeper in, but they look like kind of like little ants with wings. And bigger heads. And, yeah. You don't want those in your house here. But I did see... 
knife, the wood cutter. Oh god, 3D. What happened? You didn't find any, did you? Nope. Well, that's not helpful. Yeah, it is. There's something there. Where? In there. Oh, there we go. See that little bugger moving right there? I'm not seeing him move. I think he crawled away. I have to rip off more of that sucker's hurting, though. Anyway. I wanted to film this cluster of tree roots. Because I thought it looked pretty cool. It's like a bunch of elephant feet. All kind of together. Look, there's a giant animal above me. See the hoof? How do you sticking his fingers in my butt crack? It's just so... Anything to try to mess up the shot. <laughs> Where did I see that anthill? Alright, these are fun in Florida. You gotta watch everywhere you step. Fire ants. I'm gonna mess up their house and piss them off. See these little red buggers running out? They don't look like much, but they will light you up. Because now that I destroyed that little part of their house, they're gonna rebuild it. But first, they're gonna come out and say, We need to get whoever the hell did it. <laughs> and I'm not gonna be anywhere near you, little guys. Fire ants are no joke, y'all. They are nasty little buggers and they will light you up quick, fast, and in a hurry. So if you're ever in Florida, don't stand still on the ground anywhere without looking down and making sure they're not on your shoes because they don't all bite you. Like when they get on you, they wait till like 50 of them get on your shoe and your ankle and then they all bite at once. <laughs> Serious. Don't stand still. Well, you're gonna have to go kind of slow so they don't fly away. So, see, they're, oh, they I don't think going. they're eating, they're just kind of hanging they're out. I am trying to film these uh, nasty freaking buzzards. These things are so ugly. I gotta have my side that way so I can. So, yeah, there's some water way over here again. What is going on with this damn camera? Look at these dudes, they're taking naps. You see these people? These are nasty, nasty little buzzard vulture thingies. See if I can They're called turkey in. vultures. There you go, turkey vultures. Look at these little naked heads. They look like the ones out of the kid cartoons. I guess they're chilling right now. They must have had plenty of roadkill that they you don't need to. I can't get that one. Maybe this guy. The camera doesn't want to clear clear up the picture. It's making it blurry. Damn you. They are just some ugly little things though. Uh, yeah, they're just kind of chilling out here. Oh, how cute. He's preening her tail. Cleaning Assuming. the butthole. Ew. Reaming her. Eh, see? He went left. Why? <laughs> but not least, we are going to leave you all with the Florida sunset. Is this Lake Parker? Yep. Okay, we're at Lake Parker. Uh, big old power plant over there in the distance. We got this. You know what? Me and this phone are going to have a come to Jesus moment because every time I start filming. Alright, so we are going to try to film the sunset. It's going to be in 10 minutes. We are at Lake Parker, which is enormous. So I will come back when we get to the end of the sidewalk pier down there. Mucky down here, but you can hear all the birds. They're having a good time. Loon type birds there that are Taking off. Oh, the phone is driving me nuts with this autofocus trying to come in every five seconds. It's going to be the end of the sunset there. It's kind of behind the clouds, hard to see, but this is Lake Parker. Lake Parker is enormous. There's Hubby. You zoom out, maybe I could get a better picture of stuff. Oh, this zoom, I'm going to fight with it today. So, huge, 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 huge. Um, people are fishing. Big power plant over there. 